Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we'll be doing a scrape painting, but the canvas we'll be using was actually sent to me by a company called Hippie Crafter. Uh, they actually reached out to me a few days ago and asked if I'd be interested in showcasing their new black canvas that they just recently launched, and I said, sure, I'll give it a shot. So the canvas we'll be using, like I said, is just a black canvas instead of a traditional white canvas, uh, and they actually sent it out to me, and I will provide some links for you to check it out, but I have not used their products before. Uh, we'll actually be unboxing it and using it for the first time, so let's head over to the table and we'll get started. All right, let's go ahead and open this package. Got my handy dandy box right here. And so let's check these out. Now I actually obviously have not opened them, I have not tested them at all, um, I have not used them. Um, oh, I love these things, I love to pop these things. I'm not going to pop it because it'll probably be pretty loud, but I do like to pop them. Um, so yeah, this will be kind of our first thing here, and they have a nice little uh, receipt in the box, so I'm going to set that aside. But this is what they look like. Now, like I said, I've never uh, used this company before. They simply reached out to me and asked if I wanted to, to do it, and I said of course. And I'm kind of looking forward to it. Now I did look up the company, kind of look up some of the prices. The prices are actually comparable to other brands that sell packages like this. So uh, I think these run about $20 and all of the other brands that I saw on Amazon, same price. And there will be links in the description area. Uh, I will put it in the description and probably pin a comment with the links to their website and Amazon. So you can get these for yourself and check out their other products. All right, so we're just gonna open this up and we only need one of these bad boys. So pop these out here. And since this one has the little, um, little sticker on it, we'll use that one. So we'll put these bad boys aside. And we will use our first canvas from Hippie Crafter. Now I did check out their website. They do have a lot of the basic stuff that you would expect um, for, I would say, hobby crafters. Because um, they do have kits for acrylic, for oil, stuff like that. Um, they do have some tapes and mediums as well. Um, but as far as kind of that goes, um, I couldn't say too much more on what else they offer. That's just what I've seen so far. So this is what we got so far. I'm going to go ahead and show it to you guys. Now just feeling it, it is pretty soft. A lot of the canvases that you get from, um, say, Michaels and stuff, they tend to be a little rough. Uh, even the canvas panels also tend to be that way. So it does feel very nice. It is, you can kind of hear it. Pretty soft, I do like that. Um, staple back, which, I mean, makes sense. For a smaller canvas, you don't really need much more. But we've got that going, so we are going to go ahead and get to painting. So we're going to do a scrape painting, like I said earlier, and we're going to be using our here and we're going to start off with yellow. We're going to put a base coat of yellow on the canvas and I'm going to say this right off the bat. What's nice about buying black canvas is when you do paintings um, with a lot of black that's kind of heavy on black. Um, let's say for instance this painting right here. This is a scrape painting I did and you can tell that there's a lot of black on it. Now, there's also white, but the thing is with white on a painting where there's not a lot of white where you don't want the white to show, um, you know, that can be a problem if you don't base coat it first. If you just kind of get into the painting, um, sometimes that white canvas will show through. That's the nice thing about a black canvas is that, you know, if, you, if your painting is going to be heavy on black, well, it's already um, pre-coated to be that color. So it actually makes it a lot easier because if any of the canvas shows through, then it's already, you know, it's not white. So I do like that about black canvas. I just have not used black canvas in quite some time. But that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So we are actually going to put a, a thick bead of yellow paint on our little 
trowel here. And I will put that out. And I'm going to spread this out with a little stick here. And we are going to run this down. We've got just enough to cover the painting. And so we're just going to pull it down. Get a nice thick bead here. All right, we lost some of it. So we're just gonna go through it one more time. Try to extend some of the coverage. Okay, so now that we have our coverage here, we're going to run some white over it. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're actually going to wipe off some of this paint here. And this time we'll move into our white. And I think I have not opened this one. So, got another one here. Let's switch to that. Get a nice kind of thick bead on there. Just a little bit more right there. All right. Flatten that. It sounds like there's a ghost in my garage here because there's a bag over there moving by itself. All right, now we will place this onto our canvas here. We're just gonna pull this through. I'm pushing pretty hard. Okay, now I'm gonna go over it one more time. There's a lot of layering here. So we're gonna try to spread some of it out. Okay, now it's perfectly fine that we have kind of this uh, separation. We're actually going to go over it with black now. So we're going to get a lot of that in there. Some paint did come off on here, so we're actually going to wipe that off. Okay, we're gonna take that excess off and we'll wipe it. And now we'll move into our black. I'm going to go ahead and run it a little longer than the actual canvas. I can always wipe it off, but um, I do want to make sure that it is wide enough. And this is what I was talking about. So we're going to run the black paint over what's already here. But we're going to go about two thirds of the way down and then bring it down because then we're going to go across it a different way. So we'll start about right here. And I'm going to actually lift it up, bring it up to try to get a clean line right there. And then we're going to just kind of pull this through. Okay, and now we have kind of a separation of colors. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to go across it one more time. We're going to leave all of the paint that's currently on here, but we're going to go across it this way and we're going to pull those colors in. So actually what we're going to do is we're going to reintroduce the white. So we're going to put white right here. Anytime it wants to come out. And we're going to pull this across. Okay. 
and now we have these kind of really distinct sections. I'm going to go over it one more time and just kind of clean up some of these rough edges, reintroduce those colors to kind of tie this section in. And it did kind of slant a little bit. We're a little bit uh, lower on this side than we are on this side. So I'm actually just going to kind of come back through here and bring it downward. And it's a little high. All right, now we're getting a lot of mixture here, so we're gonna stop and I'll pull off some of this excess paint here. And there we go. So here is our final piece. Uh, we've got the, let's actually go ahead and take a look at it. Keep that cord out of there. So we have our separations at the top. Nice uh, solid black color to kind of give this middle section a definition here. And then we have these colors pulled right back in through it and across to kind of give it um, some division, but also to kind of really unify the entire piece. Um, so overall, not a bad piece. And I think that the black canvas is nice because it actually kind of frames the painting, which a lot of times I have that issue with white canvas where you'll see the white edges kind of come through. But with the black, it's not so bad because even if the paint doesn't cover all the way down, especially with scrape paintings. The thing with scrape paintings is that uh, tend to, no matter how hard you try, you tend to push harder on the edges because the edges are raised and then the middle of the canvas kind of sinks in a little bit um, because there's no support there. And so something like this right here where it shows, sometimes you get these, uh, unless you use a lot of paint, you're gonna see kind of the under layer of the canvas coming through. Well, using black canvas is not so bad because um, having a black base, you're gonna see that black come through. It's really not a big deal since it's part of the painting and it's not that stark white, so it doesn't look unfinished. So I actually kind of like that, and that's actually pretty good for this type of painting. Um, overall, I think that the, the canvas are actually pretty good for the value that you get. Uh, again, if you want to check out Hippie Crafter, either the specific canvas or any of the other products that they have, I will link to those in the description and in the pinned comment for their Amazon link and the website. Uh, but that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, God bless, and see you then. Bye.